Welcome to a platform where we debate on the top stories of the NBA, NFL, Major League Baseball, and other leagues with the best in the world of sports. You also get interviews with many athletes and media talents at several basketball events, including the WNBA and college basketball. My name is Rafiq Kulwiz on it. This is nothing but that sports talk. You know, it's a blessing to um, be able to compete in March, you know, to... Um, to be in Brooklyn, to be at the Barclays Center, to be able to compete in March is a blessing. It's a blessing to be able to represent St. Joseph's University. And um, we've had a very disjointed conference season. So through the grace of God, you know, we get a chance to continue to get, to get better. And um, like we beat a team that has been playing great as of late. You know, that, that program has beaten um, Dayton this year. They just beat Richmond, you know, four or five days ago. They've been playing really well. Uh, credit to our guys for coming out here and playing as united as we needed to be to win this game. Yeah, when yeah, you mentioned you coaching you coaching the NBA one yeah. time. Like, how did that knowledge and wisdom get carried on to the type of St. Joseph team that you descended upon the Atlantic Ten? Yeah. Not just last year, but this year as well. I mean, I, I could. There's a hundred answers to that from player development to strategies to putting a staff together to sports science to analytics. I think the thing now after five years through is um, I'm hoping that I'm more mature. You know, when you sit that many games on an NBA bench, you start to realize the, the die to self attitude that you have to have as a coach. You know, the players are the magic, in my opinion. We have to lead them and steward them. And a lot of it just comes down to does the shot go in or not. So I'm hoping that that time on that bench and with the people that I learned from, I just learned how to stay in the game and not be emotional. And I think it gives our team confidence. And like they said, I trust them. You know, I, I probably a little bit too much to some people's liking at times. But uh, I think it's, it's just more the ability to stay steady. We'll do last year. This is Rafi with nothing but the sports. Like I got a question for Cameron Brown. Um, when, when you've seen all these, comeback, these comebacks in the A-10 tournament so far, how did that prepare you guys for the type of game that you're going to have when going up against a George Mason or any team later in this tournament, rather? Def definitely. Um, I watched all the games yesterday, and every single game basically came down to the I mean, last few minutes. Um, just it's like, like I said earlier a little bit, nobody wants to go home. So, uh Guys are going to fight, fight for their season and um, make plays. And, um, but every day in practice, we work on situation stuff. Um, we've been in a lot of close games throughout, throughout this whole season. So uh, we, we know what to do as a team, and uh, we're prepared for games like this.